Brandon Epstein asks, does Dan Whitmer think he's cooler than me because he has two do the thing tattoos and I have zero? Welcome back. Welcome back to episode number 11. 11. Onse. Dude, 1-1. One, one. ESPN, the Onse. Not the Ocho, but the Onse. Uh-huh. Um, dude, how was the beach? The beach, beach was nice. great. I just came back from a few days in Santa Marta, the coast of Colombia, and things got wild, things got weird. I cleaned my, I cleared my mind. Yeah. And I'm ready. Did a lot of reading. Did a lot of reading, did a lot of like just thinking, meditating, hiking. And I'm ready to rock and roll Zen Dude Fitness. Those are all very Zen Dude things, bro. I'll very get my Zen Dude on. Just a reminder, if you want these questions answered, do not comment in the section, in the YouTube section. Join our free four week challenge, which is linked up below, and write these questions in the Facebook group because I, I, I post every week, every Sunday, and I say, hey, ask your questions, and then everyone comments on that post. That's how you get your questions answered. And also, I think, Dan, you're making it official, the stops you have, at least a few of the stops along the way when you go to the United States. So should we link those uh, events up in the yes. description? Yes. First one is May 31st in Philadelphia. We will be having a jump rope meetup at the steps of the Philadelphia Art Museum near the Rocky statue, you know, the famous Rocky statue in Philadelphia. So we're doing that. That's at 530. And then we have one that's next, that following Saturday. June the 3rd, New York City, 11 a.m., East River Park, Manhattan, in the Lower East Side. Not East River State Park, which is in Brooklyn, mm. near Williamsburg. East River Park on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Mm. Uh, Boston, D.C., and Baltimore are coming, so you'll see those invites very soon for anyone who's in those cities, but you should totally come. You should totally come. It'll be fun. Um, any other announcements before we get into the questions? Uh, Costa Rica. If you're not going to Costa Rica, Costa Rica, we have a solid group already signed up and going to Costa Rica. We do. Um, and we would recommend that you guys join us because it is going to be, you are going to be able to learn how to transform both mentally and physically. But most importantly, you're going to do it in a fun way while eating awesome food and getting to hang out with us every These dudes. single hour of the day it's no, gonna be every day. hour you can yeah we're not gonna be every hour we're not sleeping in bed with you but we'll be in the general yeah. vicinity or aren't we mm. <laughs> question number one tom marshall what's up dude what's i up, think tom? this is a new question asker i haven't seen him what's up tom guys how important or not is a rest day i do 30 minutes rope and body workout and 20 kilometers ride every day damn that's a lot of work i feel good i tried to have a rest day at the weekend but i couldn't do it I had to do the thing. Yeah, I know how that feels. Yo, Tom, you just said it yourself, man. You feel good. And that's what we tell everyone. Like some people can only work out like two days a week when they're first getting started because their body just gets destroyed. Sounds like you've built your body up to be able to go every day. And if you feel good, then keep doing the thing, man. Dude, what Brandon said. Mono! Mono asks, is it better to do hit workouts plus weights together in one workout session? I used to be at the gym for two hours doing both uh, three times a week, but recently I tried to just focus on one. I saw improvement. My focus is building muscle. Very nice, my friend. Real fast. Dude, it, it really it really doesn't matter. It's, what, it's whatever your preference is. For example, it is beneficial to do HIIT workouts and your weights together. However, not if you're getting so tired during your HIIT workouts. Actually, now I'm kind of answering my own question. My recommendation would be to do them separately, and here's why. If you're doing weights, you should go 110% intensity on focusing on building muscle and lifting properly. And if you're fatigued because you did a HIIT workout before that, then that's not really gonna benefit you a whole lot for building muscle. Um, on the same, on the opposite side, if you're doing a HIIT workout, we want you going 110% on the HIIT workout and getting super tired and getting a lot of the cardiovascular benefits and fat burning benefits from that. So actually, dude, my recommendation would be to split them up, maybe do three weights per week and two to three jump rope workouts per week. Your second question, Mono, Brandon, love the tattoo, man. Does it mean something to you? Yeah. It's my gorilla. Yeah? Yeah, it means a lot to me. This is my gorilla here. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Does Wait, it have a name? Yeah, you know me, he's a Zendu gorilla. I'm a little Zendu gorilla. No, man, this is me. This is me. I feel like uh, humans are very primal and um, 
because we're so primal, we've been hardwired because we used to be these guys, you know, because I believe in evolution. It's true. Uh, that I believe that we have a lot of like fight or flight responses like ingrained into our DNA, just like gorillas do. And so this is a peaceful gorilla because it reminds me that like whenever I like start to get too excited or too anxious or like just too overwhelmed by something, I can just deep breathe, breathe deeply like my gorilla here, chill, find my zen, channel my inner zen dude and relax. Also, this is just the beginning. See, I got my little Zen dude here. He's kind of built into a mountain with some trees. I think one day I'm gonna have my little gorillas here. You know, if I have kids, I'm gonna build the gorillas around here. Nice. And, uh, and wifey probably is gonna get herself. I don't know if that'd be that nice to make her a gorilla, but I might make her a gorilla. You could make her like this, a super sexy gorilla dude. Sexy gorilla on the sure. side here. Anyhow, I'm thinking of maybe building my family around my whole forearm. So this is the first step is me. The, pre the peaceful gorilla. Nice. Nice. Hey, Len. Helen? Hel Helen? Hey. I don't know. I have a problem that whenever I stop working out, even if it's only for like a week because of stress at school or something, I tend to immediately put on weight. Any ideas or why? I eat pretty healthy as I love fruit and vegetables and make like 99% of my food using whole foods. It's just really annoying because I constantly feel like I have to start over. So the big question here is, how do I stop the feeling of wanting to start over and needing to? Mm. And also, uh, how do I just make sure that I don't gain excess weight? So I'd start with there by saying, you need to start counting your calories and macronutrients because you said, uh, you know, I eat pretty healthy, fruit and vegetables, 99% of my food I made for myself. Not once in that sentence did you mention the fact that you're counting the amount of calories and macronutrients you're eating and hitting those numbers. So that is going to be ultimately the thing that makes sure that you don't gain weight when you don't exercise. And the second part of that, uh, how do you stay consistent with your workouts? You just have to get back to that why, and you just have to do the thing. You have to know why you want to do it, why it's important, and once you remember what that why is, do the thing. And the only other thing I agree with everything Brandon said, and the one thing I want to add about mindset, is there's a lot of people who, who uh, they actually trick themselves into thinking that they've ruined their own progress. For example, someone will go out and like eat a piece of cake the night before, and then they'll look in the mirror the next day, and they'll be like, I oh my goodness, I gained like 10 pounds. And it's totally not true. We have to get rid of this mindset that enjoying ourselves every now and then or or because of like stress or something like makes you anxious that you're gonna gain a bunch of weight. Like chances are you might not have gained any weight. And now I'm not I'm not saying that I don't know your situation exactly, but we shouldn't always think of like, oh I had a tough week and I couldn't work out, so I totally ruined my progress. You need to change your mindset around starting over. Don't start stop and then think about starting over again. There is no start and stop in fitness. There is no end in fitness. You have to make this part of your lifestyle. So don't get discouraged when you trip up for a few days. Just keep going. Matthew Javier, coach. Coach Matthew. Aside from ZDF, what fills you with pride? Mm, what fills me with pride is just being a good person. Yeah. Just trying to do my best. As long as I know I'm doing my best, I feel a lot of pride in that. Mine would be making art. I love, I'm talking about like making videos and taking like videos and photos. So not just like the jump rope videos that you guys see, but some of the vlog videos we did and like taking photos, like I have become totally obsessed with the camera and I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that and that's what I want to continue doing with my life. Lila! What is the craziest thing you've ever done and would you do it again? Oh, go ahead, Brandon. Mm, the craziest thing I've ever done. Craziest. I got one. You got one? Got you it. go first. I don't, can't think of one. Got it. Check it out. So, I moved to New York City with $12.35 in my bank account, 50 grand in student debt, and then I got a job for like four months and then quit that job with no money and I was living on this girl's couch in Manhattan actually for a few weeks. So would I do that again? Yeah, absolutely I would do that again. Moving to New York with zero money and zero plan was the best thing that I ever did in my life and I wouldn't be sitting here if I did not make that crazy decision. Ah, I guess I'll just copy you. My craziest thing is I moved to Medellin, Colombia uh, with no money and no idea what I was gonna do. Oh, Shay, Shay Neary, my man, what's up? Wu-Tang Clan or NWA? Hmm, I know this one. For me, dude, I'm gonna go to NWA just because I, I listen to a lot more of their music. Like Wu-Tang Clan, I love them, but I just 
only listen to a few of their songs. Dude, we are the same god <laughs> person. Like, okay, Wu Tang Clan. I wanted to say Wu Tang Clan because like it's okay, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Know, yeah, it's cool. One of my favorite rappers is Method Man, and also Old Dirty Bastard. Rest in peace. He was an OG. But and, and plus I'm from the East Coast. But I'm gonna agree with Brandon NWA because I know more of their songs, and also I still follow some of the artists, the ones who are still alive from NWA. So I still. I would say that more of, yeah, I like NWA more. Leanne asks, some tips on different strategies or methods to quickly decrease your stress level when you are in a restricted environment like at work or you have limited ability to leave the situation? That is a, that's a really good question. Mm. That's a great question. Yep, I would just start by meditating a number of different ways. I know Dan's probably gonna say something similar. You can either just start by taking deep breaths and counting your breaths or you can download an app like the Wim Hof Method. It takes like five minutes or less to do and it will completely change the way that you're feeling in that moment. Yeah, I would say breathing. For me, like when I get a little overwhelmed, I go deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, uh, repeat to five and just do that again. Very similar to the breath that you take for jumping rope actually. Chris asks, asks, how can I best build up the chest muscles? What exercise or combo of exercises can I do each day to make a difference? How many push-ups a day? Cheers, dudes. Much love. Chris, I'm psyched to meet you in New York, my friend. Go ahead, Brandon. Yo, best way is gonna be lifting weights. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm sure you love push-ups, but if you really wanna put on mass on your chest, man, you should be doing like a five by five split just once a week. Five sets of bench press, five reps each. Um, what is it, the strong man? Dude, yeah. Do the strong lifts five by five method. I think that's Google the best Google strong do. lifts five times five. Just Google that. And also, I would just add to that, um, I do think that you can build, like I agree with Brandon, like the easiest way to build muscle, especially in the chest, is you have to lift weights. You have to do resistance training. Body weight stuff can work to build muscle, although not as much. Some I thought is just do the easier route, which is weightlifting. But if you're into bodyweight stuff and you wanna build muscle and at the same time like challenge yourself, progressive overloading for bodyweight could be very helpful. And what I mean by that, let's just for rough example, do 10 one week every day and then 20 the next week every day and then you keep moving up from there. Bob asks, what advice can you give me to stop getting bored while jumping rope? I already listened to Dope Music for Brand Spotify playlist and I try to mix it up a bit with tricks, but I am still bored out of my, out of your mind? Yeah, I'm All right, Bob. I'm offended. You need to go harder, man. Because if you're going as hard as you can with the intensity, you can't be bored because all you're thinking about is that present moment. Bop, 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 every spin of the rope. So if you're getting bored, it tells me that you're not going hard enough because you can think about being bored. So Bob, go harder, man. Also, bro, just do the thing, man. Like some days, I don't have as fun as other days working out, but it doesn't mean that I don't still go just as hard. Like. Forget being, you know, dude, it's like with my parents. My parents, when I, when I was a kid, I loved my parents for doing this. I would say, I'm bored. And they would look at me like, what do you mean you're bored? Go outside and do something then. Like, bored, being bored is not a thing. Brandon Epstein asks, does Dan Whitmer think he's cooler than me because he has two do the thing tattoos and I have zero? Bro, before you get your first, I'll have 10. Adam asks, hi dudes. Hi Adam. I've noticed one wrist seems to do more of the work while spinning the mm. rope. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Does this matter? And if so, how can I fix it? Thanks and greetings from England, dude. Psyched to see you in England, man. Adam, I think this is a pretty common thing. And what you need to do is just focus on using the momentum of the rope instead of using your wrist as much to move it. And so when you're doing like anything which is a regular bounce or, you know, feet side to side. Basically when your arms are out to the side, I'll focus on trying to use the momentum of the rope and using both of your wrists to do that instead of like deliberately trying to move the rope forward with one wrist or the other. I would just add to that, you actually do want to use all of your wrist for it. Well, I think what Brandon's trying to say is you don't want to use your whole arm. Like if there's too much, you want to have a lot of wrist action, but because you, you want to keep most of the movement with your forearm and your wrist and use your elbow here as like a socket to turn the rope, but you don't wanna be out here. And also, I think what you're talking about is an irregularity that I also have with jumping because my biceps like are shaped differently. So one arm sticks further out like this and it looks like, like I'm not symmetrical when I jump rope. My take on that dude is, I'm sure I, I could probably fix it, although I don't, 
it doesn't really hinder my ability to jump rope. So if you're a little bit off symmetrically, but you still can jump rope well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Santiago asks, who are you both rooting for in the NBA playoffs? Uh, my dude, I'm a diehard Nick fan, so I'm completely just out of the loop of what's going on in the playoffs because the Knicks just sh bad this year. We got D-Rose, we got Noah, we had Melo, we had Porzingis. We had a team put together that could potentially have some potential. Uh, we had a ton of injuries, no team chemistry. I know I'm not answering your question, but I'm just kind of venting here. And yeah, so I don't yeah. care what goes on in the NBA because the Knicks are dog sh And um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going for the Cavs. Like, call me a bandwagoner or not, I am a little bit of a bandwagoner for the team. But LeBron, since he came in the league, has always been my favorite player. When he played for the Heat, I rooted for the Heat. When he played, went back to the Cavs, I rooted for the Cavs. I think what that man has done for that team and what he does in basketball and like being such a stand-up dude, especially, especially when the whole world wants you to fail, like when he, like he literally has been the best his whole life. The man just, he kicks ass at life. He rocks it at basketball. Go Cavs. And we'd like to take a moment now and shout out our sponsors. Sponsors! Uh, uh, Fitness Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Fitness Asses Endy Show. Asses Endy Show. Uh -huh. um, number one, you guys may may know this. We jump rope once in a while. And this is a jump rope we use every day because it's the best jump rope we've ever found. It's called the cross rope. This specifically is the agility rope. Yep. It's linked in the description below. So if you want to use the rope that we use. 10% off. 10% off discount, check them out. It's the best ropes on the market. Then we have Athletic Greens, which is the nutritional company that we rep. We rep them for a few reasons. One, they're the best at most of the, the supplements that they put out there. For example, the green juice is the best, the on the best. that we have found. Secondly, because just this last Sunday, I'm so tight with the, we're so tight with the owner that I went on a walk with him. So it's a company that we trust. That's really the big reason why we, we work with those Yeah, so we grill him, we're like, yo man, like why is this the best? And then he's like, you guys need to talk about this, this, and this, because no one else is doing this. And we're like, all right, well it tastes great, and we know there's a lot of nutrients in it, so we're gonna keep repping it. And yeah. we don't say as much of like the awesome things that are in it, because it really is higher quality than like anything out there, but, we need to do a better job on that, you guys. Well, and if you go to the website though, you'll see all the benefits. They're there. They're there. All right, back into the asses and dudes. Simo asks, who's your favorite actor or actress? Dude, tough one off the top of my head. Because mm. I want to say oh, this is easy one. for me. Really? Oh, Leo, man. Dude, I know that was gonna, I was like Leo. what I was thinking. I was like, but, ah, damn it. Okay, honestly, the first one that popped into my head was Johnny Depp. I mm. love Johnny Depp's like weird personality, like, Johnny Depp in Fear and Loathing, one of my favorite movies. Johnny Depp in Blow, one of my favorite movies. I think though, if, if I had some time to sit down and think about this, I would come up with someone else to be totally honest, but Johnny was the first one. Austin, B and D, what up? What's up, man? How often do you guys jump rope and smack the rope on your back? I managed to leave whip marks on my back at least every two days. That ish hurts, I know, Yo. but it's fine, do the thing. This is like my favorite comment of all day. Look how like filled with energy this is. So much energy. My man. My dude, Austin. Uh, man, I whip myself probably, I don't know, maybe almost every day. Now, maybe maybe like four out of seven days a week, I whip myself pretty good. But when I was first getting started, I whip myself multiple times every single time I worked out. And I just got better, and so that happened less. But I always try to push myself, and so the whips keep on coming. In the back, probably four to five times a week, like four to five days. Guys, you have to understand something. Like Brandon and I mess up and whip ourselves all the time. Like it's not something that necessarily goes away, especially when you're practicing and learning new tricks. When you're going hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. Raul asks, will you guys ever host a contest for a transformation? Ooh, Trans my dude. Yo, we are constantly giving out jump ropes and other prizes to people who post their transformations on Instagram and hashtag Zendu Fitness and tag us at Zendu Fitness and also hashtag do the thing. So if you have a transformation that you want to share with us, do those two hashtags, tag us, and we check those out all the time and we'll reach out to you and give you some love, maybe even give you a feature. And just a lesson for all the other people out there who just email us or write us messages on YouTube and just say, hey, can I have a jump rope? Dude, That's how you get one. You gotta add value. You gotta add value to the world. Look, 
We're gonna get, there's a valuable lesson to learn right here. We don't just give out jump ropes. There's gotta be a good reason why you're doing so. So if you come to us and say, hey guys, I did the thing for a bunch of months, I lost 70 pounds, now I'm shredded thanks to jumping rope, we'll be like, what kind of rope 100%. do you want? Which one, dude, a heavy rope, a light rope, both? I don't care, yeah. here you go. In addition, I was gonna to talk to you about this later. We talked about this last week. I was thinking about doing a little, putting together a little May beach body transformation you contest. Dirty dog, y'all man. Yeah, well, That's a great idea. So I love yeah, to the lookout. Yeah, I don't mind that like it's cheesy to do like the summer stuff, like get lean for the beach. Like, come on, that's what, we're here to do. Beach. that's what we're here to do. Amar asks, what got you guys interested in jump rope? Uh, Dan got me interested in jump rope. And Brendan, this other guy who's not sitting here, he got me interested in jumping rope when I lived in New York, visited him in Boston. Check out our jump rope transformation story. I tell the whole thing there. It's linked up. Yeah. Or it's in a card. Yeah. Go to it. Mob, Mob Rob. What's your Rob. favorite beer? I went to high school in Eugene, Oregon, which has like the most so lucky. microbreweries per capita. In, in, in high school, did it have that though? Was yeah. it like that way in high it was, school? Oh yeah, it was, it was been on the come up. Now they have the most that they've ever had, but they've been on the come ups. Um, so actually, let me think about it in high school, did they? Anyhow, there is a lot of good beer there. So I'm gonna have to say, the uh, red ale from Ninkasi is my favorite. Nice, dude. That's specific. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking about, I was trying to get specific, but then I, I realized like there's one beer that whenever it shows up, I drink it. Sierra Nevada. Sierra mm -hmm. Nevada is always my go-to beer because I love IPAs the most. And that's just like the easiest... It just always shows up, so I always drink it. Emily asks, do you have any tips for keeping a positive outlook when there's so much tragedy and hate in the world? Girl, I hear you. Ooh, Emily, yes. There is a lot of <laughs> going on in the world, but what you need to pay attention to is the fact that this is the most safe and peaceful time in human history. Not once before in the history of humankind have we had less war, less poverty, less illiteracy, less famine, this is the best time to ever be a human. So I try to focus on that. And in addition, I try to just bring as much good as I can personally in the world as I can. Cause I know if I'm busy focusing all my energy on that sucks, I'm not gonna be able to help the people that are right in front of me. Dude, that is a amen brother. Because like, look, there, it's just, it's a matter of like how you, what your outlook is. Like for all the terrible shit that happens in the world, there's a multitude of amazing shit and amazing happy things that always occur. And you have to decide to focus on that. And then like Brandon said, do what you can do to put good in the world. No matter how much good you put into the world, no matter how happy you are, you have to understand that bad shit will always exist. So if you let the fact that bad shit always exist affect how you live, then you lose. Mm. You win by just infecting the world with as much good as you possibly can. Caesar asks, if I just started boxing, do I have to change my macros? I was already in a deficit. My dude. So what you're gonna wanna do now is go back to the calculator again that we have, we'll link it again below. And you wanna change your activity to highly active if it's not already. Cause if you're boxing, you're probably working really hard, burning a ton of calories. So even if you wanna be in a deficit, you need to make sure that you're eating for a calorie deficit, incorporating the fact that you're doing a ton of exercise. You, yeah. Remy asks, what do you guys think about fish oil? I think artificial complexity, my dude. Here, fish oil is one of those things that when I was- What do you mean by artificial complexity? What I mean by artificial complexity is fish oil is one of those things that people try to focus a lot of their energy on, making sure they take it along with like the right multivitamin, et cetera, et cetera when in reality it's not actually affecting your overall health that much. Because here's the thing, uh, there's been some research looking at fish oil and how it affects like your body composition and everything I've seen, because I had to research a bunch when I was in college because I studied exercise physiology, uh, was that there was no positive or negative, there wasn't a significant effect on the body by taking fish oil. And we're looking at how it affects your body composition. Now, is it good to take healthy oils? Absolutely, but you can get those by eating fish, or coconut oil, olive oil, just in your diet normally. Alphan asks, how many hours a day do you recommend exercise? Jump rope, going to the gym, etc. And do you think it's good, do you think it's fine to jump rope and then go to the gym? 
Um, for hours a day, again, this is all dependent on your body. If you're just asking like blanket, how much like would we recommend as Zen dudes? We say 30 to 45 minutes per day of intense exercise. It doesn't have to be super intense every day, but three to four times a week intense. Um, and if you're doing it intensely enough, you don't need to be working out for hours, okay? You only need to be working out for 45 minutes, maybe an hour tops. Having said that, um, Brandon and I like to do a lot of different activities to make sure our fitness regimen is fun and always challenging and changing. So one day I might, like for example this weekend, I jumped rope, then I did hip hop dancing outside, then I walked like 10 miles. So all of that coming together was like four hours, but it wasn't, you know, I don't do that every single day. It was just more to have fun. So listen to your body and know how much is too much and how much you still is not enough and how and you can push yourself to that to that limit. Jail asks, where can we get the Do The Thing shirts? And I'm super excited about the app, us too. When is it coming out? Yo, we got dude shirts, we got dudette shirts, we got tank tops for girls and guys. We'll link them down in the description below. We have a store, which most people don't know about, where you can go buy Zen Dude Fitness apparel. Mm -hmm. So we'll link it below. Um, the app should be coming out early this summer. We don't have an exact date, but we're gonna be looking for beta testers and we'll reach out to you guys when we're ready for that. Super stoked on the app, guys. It's gonna make all the workouts you're doing super awesome and we can't wait to deliver it to you. Just stay patient, it's coming. Yeah. Um, dude, I think that's that's it. <sighs> dude, another great it. app, bro. Another great app, you, you guys. just got off a plane and we just shot this episode. I woke up like this. Yeah, I know, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, I cannot say enough how much, Brandon, I want to thank you for being here, for being a part of this community, for all the energy that you put into the posts. We've seen a lot more, for example, in our dojo group. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. It's linked up below. But in our dojo group, guys, people are posting videos. They're helping people with their form. They're helping people lose weight. They're helping people with food recommendations. There's a lot of positive energy flying around the Zen Dude Fitness community right now. And it's, it's you guys and gals that we have to thank for it. So thank you. We'll see you on next week's episode. Brandon, do you have any uh, closing statements? I love you guys I so love much. You. Love you guys too. So much.